All right, y'all, we are gonna go out here for about three or four hours. It's about noon. Um, and we're gonna try to catch some redfish. We've been doing good lately. I haven't been in a few days, but uh, I got a good feeling. So, are y'all ready for a great adventure on the water? If I get in this boat without snapping my, look at this, see, see how, look at that. That's not good. You don't want your trolling motor head pushing on the dock all right i only brought two poles because let's face it that's all i need i only need one but you got to bring an extra just in case even though we buy 500 of them we, we only end up bringing one or two all right y'all i'll see y'all out there all right y'all let's give a shout out to matrix shad um they've been good to the channel they've always Chaz has always sent me out lures you know I appreciate them. The package is dirty. That's not the lures. But these are one of my favorite colors out there. Um, I love a glow in clean water. So we're going to get out there. We're going to throw the Matrix Shad today. Right. Can we, get a, can we get a focus in? But like I said, we're going to be throwing Matrix Shad today. If we can get it to focus. I don't know why my camera won't focus. I don't know what's going on. Focus, you son of a biscuit. Look at this. We're we're getting out. We're getting up here right now. We just pulled up. We're gonna catch a fish right away. You know why? Cause I'm feeling it. That's why. Got one. Yeah. Took me about three minutes after I turned the camera off, but you know it happened. It happened, Captain. And he really got. Oh, he's got a tag in him. What do you know? And he swallowed my lure. Check him out. He swallowed it. <sighs> Get out. Oh, yeah. This fish was hooked so good. Oh, this fish was hooked so dang good. You got a tag in him. No, we're going to return. We're going to keep him, but we're going to return this tag in and see what happens. I catch a lot of tagged redfish. <sighs> All right. Check him out. 20 incher right there. We're going to throw him in a lava well. We'll keep them alive. And if it's the last fish, we, if it's the only fish we'll catch, we'll let them go like a gentleman. We're throwing a death grip jig head, quarter ounce, on a glow matrix shad. Very great color. I love pearl and glow. It's a great, great color in clean water. You get a little dip and you spike the tail with some chartreuse coloring and you got yourself a winner. I used to do that a lot. I don't, I don't do it too much anymore. I don't know why. I'm just lazy. I want to just cast. I don't have time for all that. I don't have time to spike the tail. Throw on this point real quick. So we got one red in the boat, and there's one right there. He had me caught up on something. I think he was stuck on a on that point. God, I thought he was big, big. <laughs> had my drag coming out and everything. Hi there. Ooh. A little beefier than the last one, but still in all. I mean, I hooked him under a chin, so maybe that's why he felt big. He's pretty warm, but it's kind of cool out here, so look at that one. Nice one there. Same size, basically. All righty. Tidy whitey. We're going to have to get out of here. There he is. 
Okay, there was the bite I was looking for. Dang, this thing's fighting like a tuna. Dude, is an alligator grabbing you? What is going on? You need to calm down, sir. What is happening with this fish? He's all hook crazy. Oh no, he's all right. Dude, that fish fought like a crazy person. Check him out right there. Nice one, huh? 20, 21, something like that, maybe. All I know is he's a keeper. And there's our limit in about 10, 10 minutes. So 10 minutes, we got ourselves a limit. And I'm over here crying that it's slow. I'm just a spoiled guy. Okay, someone. Okay, Bill. Bill. All right, this has just come to mind. He mentioned my casting. How much of a good casting. How good I am at casting. Gosh, Andy, come on. Use your big boy words. Um so my dad i was gonna tell him a story but it was too long to type i figured it'd be better to you know just tell a story my dad we used to fish uh the bridges in lake Pontchartrain, the highway 11 bridge the trestle whatever but mostly the highway 11 bridge and he would be in the front of the boat right my dad would be fishing the front on the trolling motor i'd be in the back and uh, imagine you know the crab trap is the right side of the poles my dad would throw on that side right in the back i would throw on the back side and you know i couldn't i couldn't stand the back of the boat and throw it this way i'd have to backhand it behind the you know backhand it to the back side of the poles and i used to complain i'm like dad i just can't do it i can't do it and he's like just keep casting just keep casting and then that's all he would tell me and eventually i gotten so good at backhanding like flipping it backwards on them poles i never had an issue again so that was a good lesson he wasn't having he's like just keep casting because <laughs> i used to have trouble trying to cast on the back side of them pylons as a child but we're good now anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that story trout maybe what i got here i felt wicked head shakes now it's a red it turned into a red it had to yeah that ain't no trout Dude, this thing was shaking his head just like a trout. I mean, no wonder. I, look at that. I can't, <laughs> can't even get to it. He's not hooked terribly, I don't think. I hope he's a keeper because he's kind of by the gill. All right, let's, let's measure him first before we destroy him. Okay, he's 19 and a half, so he's cool to get destroyed. A little let me see my lens is getting foggy a little 19 and a half incher i thought it was a huge trout y'all know them big head shakes trout trout put off especially when they're bigger boy you feel it but it was no trout oh I'm trying to get I'm trying to catch up to this fish oh come here Oh no, he was big. It was a big one. Oh, that really, really. Oh, I'm. Oh my gosh, man. That was a big red. I couldn't catch up to him. Then I was trying to hit the camera button. It's it just a lot just happened. Oh, that hurt me. That was about a eight pounder at least. He was big. Shaking his head, going crazy. I couldn't freaking keep tension on him. Then I put too much tension on him. Oh, that freaking sucks. See if I picked me one off on this sandbar or flat, whatever it's called, mud flat. If he gets off, we're gonna just get out of here and go drink some coffee, go to bed, because I'm tired and I'm, I want some coffee. Come on, get in the boat. Thank you. Tell your big brother I want him back, man. I miss him. He was a big boy. Freaking got away. Look, they're all that same cut. Same exact fishes over and over and over and over and over. Found some trout. Let's go ahead and, okay, he was actually not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. I got a bass on the crankbait. That's always fun. 
Come here, Jeff. Jeffrey. Woohoo! Little crankbait bass. Don't hook me. You hook me, I hook you more. And then we're gonna both go to the hospital, but the thing is, I'll get out and I'll, you'll just get eaten. That's the problem here with you if you wanna hook me. What is wrong with my thumb? It feels like, there we go. All right. And I was hoping that was a redfish, but nope. Threw it right up there and he was off this little bank. baby give me a red there's a bass or a trout but it probably oh he got off that's cool i don't know what it was it was it wasn't big uh, you know when them there's one red red <laughs> it's crankbait red one cast is a bass, one cast is a red. Oh, he barely hooked. I don't know about this. Should I lift him or should I just get the net? Get in the boat. Nothing like a crankbait, man. They're so fun. Crankbaits are a great lure for fun times on the water. Oh, come here. All right. He is not a bad one. I don't think he's over 19, but he's a keeper. <sighs> Always got to have your pliers. They're stuck on the fish's face. There you go. All right, this fish goes 19 and a half. <laughs> Come on, baby. I'm feel. I'm really feeling it right now. Feeling bites. There he is. It's a red. He got off. He got off. God! Good. I wonder if it has anything to do with my hook missing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That freaking fish absolutely nailed it. We got something small. A little red. Ah. Not a keeper. Not a keeper. But a fish. Okay. He had a mouthful of it. Mm -hmm. It's the problem with treble hooks, man. It just takes forever to get the hook out sometimes. But it is what it is, you know? It's part of it. Little dude. So I had I had two bites on that cast. So I don't I don't know if it was him twice. Definitely had two bites. Oh, I saw some bait scatter through this crankbait over there. And he freaking nailed it. Let's hope we can keep him on. It's hard to tell how big they are with mono. I'm so used to braid now. He hit it so hard. Oh yeah, nice one. I'm gonna net them for the sake of uh, these hooks. Strong. Yeah, he's always oh, barely hooked, dude. Oh uh, yeah, we got him. He was just barely hooked. I had to net him. I was scared. I was a scared little guy. Oh yeah, see the hook just came out and he slapped me in my willy. Look at that one. Nicest one of the day, I must say. All right, I love it. I love the crankbait hits. They're fun, fun, fun times. This fish nailed it. I'm loving the crankbait. Hi.
Yes. Hi there. Oh, the water on your lens. I'm sorry. Oh, that was so wonderful. Hardest hit of the day was from him. Oh no. He ain't hooked good either. I mean, he ain't hooked in a good way to live. He's gonna die. Look at that. Right in his throat. Did you like it? <laughs> was it good? He's looking me in the eye. It was good, I know. But I'm sorry. It was the last meal he'll ever eat. God, I'm sadistic, huh? I get sadistic with it. Oh, goodness. Where the heck is this hook? He's in trouble. I felt him bump it and then he grabbed it on the second calf. I had to put on a different crankbait. I slapped, I slapped the boat when I cast it and broke my other crankbaits, uh, the, the plastic part that dives the nose of it. Little keeper right there, 19. I just heard one hit in front of me. So we're gonna, we might get on some fish y'all. All right, let's see. That fish nailed it. That was great. Are you snagged? What's going on? I think he's big. He's not bad. He's not bad. He hit it so hard. He hit it so hard. Uh-uh. Come on. Oh, there he goes back down. Gosh, dang it. I gotta baby him with these hooks. I have to. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. That was fun times. CR5. Ozark, or not Ozark Trail, uh, H2O Express crankbait. That's a fat little nice red there.
as soon as I turn this camera off, I got the hit. They feel so big on mono in this light rod. Stop it. Oh yeah, 19. I'll be back. This fish nailed it. Oh. Tell you what, this crankbait, man. This crankbait. How big are you? You ain't bad. Where's the crankbait, though? Can I lift you or what? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, it's gone. Oh, gosh, it's gone. You know what, Chad, just to be safe, I don't know if I'm afraid. I don't know if I'm afraid, but look at this, y'all. You tell me they ain't liking that? Look at that. That's crazy. That's when you know you're doing something right. He tried to eat this thing so bad. Mmm. I need to get him unhooked. Oh my gosh, he's hooked in the stomach. It's down his freaking gullet. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get this one out. Oh, I just pull straight out, that's how. Dude, that fish, that fish was hooked in his stomach. I couldn't even see the hook. That was awesome. <laughs> yes. Trying to horse him. He can make up for it. I don't know, he's kind of little. Oh, he's a keeper. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, that was two kit, two hits and two casts. 
cool, 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 man. Having fun, y'all. I need to find my pliers before I injure myself.